The prophesied series of events which are about to take place are as follows. Rapture. Tribulation. Armageddon. Millennium. It's called the Rapture. Did you see what I saw? Just like the Bible says. They're gone. Jesus has caused them to escape the tribulation by taking them to heaven. The Rapture is a wonderful reward given to the true believers and Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. We know that the tribulation is seven years because Daniel the prophet tells us so. And Jesus confirms it. We know what is going to happen in the future because of Bible prophecy. Bible prophecy is 100% accurate. The many and various prophets have already given us many prophecies that have been fulfilled. The future ones will be fulfilled as well. After the true believers and followers of Jesus are raptured by Jesus. All hell will break loose on earth. This will be the seven-year tribulation. Halfway through the seven-year tribulation, the Antichrist makes the satanic claim that he is God. He demands worship. He beheads anyone who does not worship him and his temple image. The Antichrist is the servant of Satan. The Antichrist is also known as the Beast. Zechariah gives us a description of the Beast. Zechariah 11, 17 or to the idle shepherd that leave the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. The great leader is too good in fact. He has decided to slow down on the beheadings. From now on there will be no more beheadings for two hours on Christmas. Thank the small great leader. Jesus is judging the earth dwellers during the seven-year tribulation period. The earth dwellers are rebellious and hate Jesus. They hide in caves to escape the 21 plagues from Jesus. Revelation 6 15 through 17. Then the kings of the earth, and the great men, the captains, the wealthy, the powerful, and every man, whether slave or free, hid themselves in caves and among mountain rocks. They called out to the mountains and the rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand against it? Isaiah 2 19. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. When he rises to shake terribly the earth. Jesus will never find me here. I will not have to encounter the sun curse and the earthquakes and the flying demons from hell or the skin sores or the tsunamis or poison water or frogs. During the last half of the seven year tribulation, the Jews are protected in the wilderness by Jesus. Just like in the days of Moses. The Jews miraculously escape the Antichrist's armies and flee to Petra where they are supernaturally protected for the final half of the seven-year tribulation. Revelation 12 verse 6. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1260 days. Isaiah 16 4. Let mine outcasts dwell with thee. Moab. Petra. Be thou a sheltered hiding place to them from the face of the spoiler. Revelation 12 6. And the woman fled into the desert wilderness where she has a retreat prepared by God, in which she is to be fed and kept safe for 1260 days, three and one half years. Supplies being delivered to the protected Jews in the wilderness. Revelation 12 6. Wars and fighting and death will be pandemic during the tribulation. Nukes will probably be unleashed on the planet by the earth dwellers. The sin of man will result in disaster. Could Joel the prophet have been writing about a mushroom cloud? The palm trees of smoke spoken of by Joel the prophet in the book of Joel. Could he have been writing about what we know as a mushroom cloud? Look up. Your redemption is very near. At the very end of the seven years of tribulation, there is a war. It is the war of Armageddon. Jesus returns and wins the war by merely speaking victorious words of glory and majesty. 
the birds feasted on the dead bodies of the foolish enemies of Jesus. Following the victory at Armageddon, Satan was put in his chain and locked up for 1,000 years. After the 1,000 years he was cast into the flames of outer darkness. Revelation 22 and 3. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and cast him into the abyss. The Millennium Jesus created butterflies the first week, then on the first day of the one thousand years, he told the bees not to sting. I'm growing blackberries as big as peaches. My peaches are the size of cantaloupes. Amos 9 13 and 15 tells of the coming millennium fruitfulness. The prophesied series of events which are about to take place are as follows. Rapture. Tribulation. Armageddon. Millennium. Yes. Come quickly Lord Jesus.